in here in Nairobi and the Kenya Law Reform Commission is demanding an explanation from the Attorney General over plans to amend the law to give the President powers to appoint the Chief Justice. Meanwhile, the Commission says it will step in to undertake the mandate previously spearheaded by the Commission on the Implementation of the Constitution, whose tenure expired last month. Addressing the press this morning, KL KLRC members, uh, Commissioners rather, allayed fears that uh, the exit of the CIC had created a vacuum. The Kenya Law Reform Commission is in agreement with the position taken by the, con the, con the Parliamentary Constitutional Implementation Oversight Committee and the Attorney General that the, the expiry of the term of CIC does not create any vacuum. We made an indication that miscellaneous amendment bills cannot be used to vary or make uh, changes to a law that are so substantive that has, have an effect like the one now you're mentioning. Now, if it is going to have such a, a serious effect, then it would better be amended through the, the act itself. So we would have had, instead of a miscellaneous amendment act, we would have had a, 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 J, a J, 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 JSC amendment act of 2015 or 2016. But the issue of independence of the commission has uh, 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 been raised, not just in this room, but recently uh, in, the, in, the, in the print media. Let me assure you, as head of the secretariat, that uh, I have 15 lawyers, including myself, and all of us are very well trained. So in terms of execution of our mandate, doing actual review of legislation, commenting on policies, commenting on bills, we exercise professional independence.